Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Fate Carnival Phantasm episode number 12 reaction and this will be the final episode of uh, Carnival Phantasm. Now um, I do have plans on like you know from next week onwards I'm going to do a few other things which will be like you know uh, I think there's like two or three more episodes which are kind of related to Carnival Phantasm. There's like, an, like you know, a few of them which I never saw. I only watched Carnival Phantasm before. So that will, this will be my first time actually reacting to them and watching them as well. So yeah, I'm going to do that, those and it'll probably take like three or four days. Like, you know, like that's how I'm going to conclude this. But uh, for Carnival Phantasm, this is the final episode. This is episode number 12. And yeah, today it will end. So, uh, episode number 11, <laughs> it was a funny episode of Lancer actually trying to run away from his fate of always dying and be being the, like, you know, clown of the fate universe. He's like, no, I'm not going to let that happen. He actually uh, dodges all the, like, you know, different circumstances where he's supposed to die. And by the end of it, he turns to be out to be victorious. Unless and until in the end there was like this one thing which he was unable to dodge. It was a uh, like you know like the ball that they were using the beach volleyball that they were using uh, in episode two I think in Sukihime like you know that episode to play. It crashed into the rocket and killed Lancer then and there. But by the end we did see him actually kind of coming out from the graves. So I'm guessing he's okay or something. I don't know. Like, you know, I'm guessing the people actually made it like, you know, a little open ended or something <laughs> to let us think what happened. Like either he is coming back or like it's, it's something else. But anyways, that was the previous episode. This will be the final episode. And I do know what it is because as I said, like, you know, like I've, I've already watched these episodes. There were a few episodes which were really um memorable. So I remember it still. Uh, this is one of them. I do remember in this episode, I, as far as I can remember, Shiki and um, uh, Shiro, they try to like, you know, go like, you know, on a date with all of the girls at the same time and mess up by the end of it. So anyways, let's get started with this uh, episode. This is episode number 12 of Fate Carnival Phantasm. So I'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here. Thank you to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, here's the countdown. Three, two. One, go. <clears throat> Wait, her voice actor is Mary, uh, no, no, Komugi, isn't it? From Hunter x Hunter? I think so. <laughs> Carnival moment. <laughs> so I think that that cat, um, the one who was talking in the phone in the beginning, I feel like she has the same voice actress as. Komugi's voice actress from Hunter x Hunter because it sounded really familiar at that moment. I don't know why the way she was talking, you know, in, in the phone, it really reminded me of Komugi talking to Miriam in Hunter x Hunter.
Hmm, all right. Let's see. Oh my god, say hi Kunin is here. Oh, cute. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like Kire is going to get along very well with Grail Kun. <laughs> Sovereign strengthening device. Oh my god. As I said, he's going to go perfectly well with Grail Kun. After party. Hmm. <laughs> There you go. This one. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> wow. Chiro is just having a blast. He's like, yeah, everyone will be happy now. I will become the hero of justice that I've always wanted to. <laughs> All right, you're late from the beginning. Great. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at Tiger eating. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, Taiga! Taiga's just choking on his food and Shiro's like, you know... Wait, what the... Oh! <laughs> oh my god. Like, Shiki has it even diff more difficult, like five of them. Like, my god, at least Shira has, like, you know, three. What the? Great. <laughs> oh. Yep. You can cut off the, yeah. There you go. Oh, she thinks he's gone. Whoa, what the? Who made a hole here? Oh my god, is this his? Yeah. <laughs> Nine foot. Oh my god. Um, yeah, another one. Yeah, another one. What the? Oh my god. Ten. <laughs> and he's going to use this as a, uh, yeah. Oh my god, Sakura's here as well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> which he made this. Ha! Why the same hall? <laughs> In the same cinema hall, he he brought. Oh my God! This guy. Why is she here? <laughs> Why are you here? Yeah, so... No, it's not. And, and no, he, he's just... 
Oh my <laughs> Oh you know what I understand now why he made the same theater It would be easy to go from one place to okay Like, she was struggling with three, three heroines, while look at Shiki, he's just... <laughs> She's still... Wow. <laughs> um, different, yeah, yeah, this is not... Yeah. You're dripping wet. <laughs> impossible. For Shiki, I think it's impossible. Just impossible. <laughs> Just... Wow! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. My god. How in the... <laughs> hmm. Well, at least Saber's having fun. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Eat as much as you like. <laughs> yeah. You can even eat mine as well. <laughs> oh my god, Sakura's just waiting there. It's not. Wait, what the? What? Wait! Ilya also oh my god Oh no <laughs> Sakura's there as well <laughs> No it's not What did you forget Akiha Oh yeah we forgot about her Akiha I I almost forgot I also forgot. <laughs> I also forgot about Akiha. Oh my god. <laughs> Great. Great. The worst matchup. Arsid and Seal. Amusement park. All right, there you go. <laughs> well, where's Hisui and Kohaku? I guess they're still. <laughs> well, obviously. Uh, oh my god, he, they're gonna get slapped now. They're gonna get slapped. <laughs> Everyone happy. It won't work. Great, wait, who's... What the, why is she here? Oh my god.
Great. <laughs> oh my god, she's unleashing her. Well. <laughs> she's still... My god, how many plank did she board? And I'm guessing Kohaku is still in front of. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but at least Hisu and Kohaku are happy. <laughs> Wait, what next episode? This is the final episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the beginning. Oh my god. Season four. Okay, well. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. <coughs> ah. All right. Okay, that was a really grading so i'm guessing they actually like you know like did the poll and waited for the final episode to um you know like i guess like it took time to animate this like you know because they animated this after getting the input from the fans you know, like they i'm guessing they did a poll like the poll with all the heroines or only the main one so and all the heroines won so after getting that input, they had to animate this and do all of this, I'm guessing. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I lost it when Ilya suddenly popped up and then, um, what's her name? I forgot her name. The girl from Melty Blood, the purple haired girl. I, I, I forgot her name. Anyways, and, and she pops up and... <laughs> she was like, oh, I forgot about Ilya and um, Shiki's like, oh, I forgot about her. <coughs> <coughs> My god. Wait, there's still something left. Wait, is that Uriel and Steno? Oh, everyone's here. What the hell? I don't remember this scene, I forgot. <laughs> Sakura's smirk. Wow, so all the characters are here. From Fate. I've had enough. Season four. great <clears throat> all right that was really good <coughs> oh my god there's still something left what is happening oh no no okay this oh. what <laughs> oh wait 
Sajo, wait, wait, wait. Sajo's that girl, isn't it? Let me check. I think, um... <clears throat> She's from Tsukima, isn't she? <coughs> um, Ayaka Sajo. No, she's not from Tsukima. Sorry, um, Fate Prototype. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Ayaka Sajo. Or, or is this a different one? No, this two of them. Like, she called herself Sajo. So, um, Ayaka Sajo and Manaka Sajo. Um, I do remember about Manaka, I like, I, I think I, I, yeah, I did react to like fake prototype in my channel and <clears throat> you know, like Manaka Sajo and Ayaka Sajo was there and like, you know, I got a lot of information about Mayaka, Manaka Sajo, uh, her being like, I think like, like everyone in the comments said something about her being like the strongest character, you know, she, she's like the master of a beast or something like, you know, there's like, like I heard a lot of like, you know, crazy stuff about her and i'm like damn <laughs> like what what type of a person is she and like uh yeah so <clears throat> like the in the phone call in the end she just called herself sajo so um i'm not familiar with their voices so i can't say who it is it's either manaka or it's uh ayaka i'm guessing it's ayaka because i don't think manaka would voice would be something like that i don't know but yeah like Fate prototype, but like, um, since obviously I doubt it will have like any, any kind of, uh, adaptation or something. So like, yeah, that's why I, like, you know, like I was, I was pretty, like, you know, open, like, you know, I, I did not care about the spoilers and stuff. So I got to learn quite a new, like a few things about uh, prototype, the whole thing. And the, the story seems really interesting and who knows, maybe in the future, if like they have don't get enough time or something you know the type moon uh, franchise maybe they'll adapt for prototype as well but i doubt they'll do it you know currently maybe in far in the future like i'm sure like you know because before these like you know i'm, I'm pretty sure uh, strange fake might get an adaptation because i think like this like the author said something about um after the light novel ends they're going to adapt it or something and uh maybe the light novel will end i don't know when it'll end how much it is like you know still ongoing but after it ends hopefully we'll get an adaptation because fake uh, fate strange fake is one of the shows that i really want an adaptation of like i i really like you know i, I kind of saw the little i think like the little trailer or the fan made thing that they made it was fantastic like you know seeing i think gilgamesh is like the main character gilgamesh and kiru is there as well and it, it looks so fun and I'm like, damn, like if I really hope this gets an adaptation in the future, <laughs> because I usually look, you know, I don't read manga or night novel that much. That's why I would love like an adaptation. I'm pretty sure they are going to make it, but in the future, as the, as the author said, like, you know, after the light novel ends, hopefully, but like, uh, uh, <clears throat> what's the name of, of that? Uh, Oh my god, I forgot the name. Um, the other one, um, Ma Mahoyo, Mahoyo, uh, that's the short form. Mahoskai no Yoru, Yoru, uh, yeah, that one. You know, like that's getting an adaptation, even though the visual novel um, is still in front, fan, like you know, the fan translation has still not ended. It's getting an adaptation of as a movie, I'm guessing. So hopefully, those, like, you know, like Fate, Strange, Fake, and those will also get adaptations in the future. I really hope so. But yeah, anyways, um, so uh, yeah, I went on a tangent completely. So this episode here, um, Carnival Phantasm, first of all, the final episode, <laughs> first of all, um, they like, you know, like the first thing that they did here is like, they showed us like, oh, this was like the poll and the one that won here is the first one, which was like, you know, date everyone. And the second one was like the main heroine. Now. I do wonder, um, who, like, you know, who is even supposed to be the main heroine, you know, of fate, not only fate of, you know, what I guess you can call Arsiet like the main heroine of Tsukihime, but, um, for fate, I feel like the, the whole thing is very vague, like, um, like, when I started the game, like, I, I thought, like, Saber was the main heroine, you know, 
like because the fate route was like the main one or something i thought about it like that but but after finishing the visual novel obviously obviously it's a visual novel there's no main heroine in visual novels where there's multiple routes they're definitely you know what there are sometimes there are like true ends so i you can say those are like the main heroine like you know the character who is like you know involved in that you can call them the main heroine but there was nothing like that in fate there was like three roots with a multiple endings and like you can say that saber is the main heroine but i don't think it's you know that easy to say that yeah she's the main heroine because rin and sakura three like three of them gets equal importance in the like, you know in the in the visual novel and the anime as well because you know they have like you know separate roots and a separate storyline so and there's no true ending or nothing like that you know it's, it's like there's nothing like that in the end like yeah the multiple uh, routes have a true ending but for example saber's route has a true ending which i think the visual novel didn't adapt like i think in realta noah adapted that whole thing of where shiro goes to avalon by the end of his life and saber is waiting for him there um that's the true ending you can say uh, for um, Unlimited Blade Works, the true ending was obviously Rin and uh, Shiro getting together, while there was like a branching, like you know, ending as well, uh, where Saber was also like you know alive by the end of it, and they all like you know lived together or something. Sakura's route, I don't remember. I think Sakura's route only had one ending, only one end. The whole thing with where Ryder, like you know, and Sakura are still alive, not alive, but are still there by the end of it rider is still here so like that's why like this there's, there's no heroine true heroine like what who who is even supposed to be like the the main heroine of fate <laughs> like i guess you can say saber like you know like because i i guess like you know everyone like you know like whenever they think about fate day night like saber's face pops up in front of everyone i guess uh, but I don't know. Anyways, like, and I'm, I'm pretty sure if, if the, the second one won, they would have probably gone with Saber. And obviously for um, um, Tsukihime, it would be Arsiet. But yeah, um, but yeah, obviously that didn't win because who would want that, you know? <laughs> so yeah, the first one won. Um, and it was, it was hilarious, you know, like the whole thing of them actually trying to you know tackle so many different situations at the same time like shiki i was like my god how is shiki even doing this like five of them and not only five he he also like, like told that that girl as well like the one mm, in melty blood like so six it was that means and while shiro also forgot about Ilya, so four now <laughs> like my god shiki shiki's one was the most like you know like painful to watch like he was just jumping from one place to another just like you know half of the time he it, it just took him to get like you know to transport himself from one place to another you know he's just running on the road like you know getting on the trains like there's like a random beer that popped up in the middle of the forest or something he even killed it <laughs> so like like it, it, it was the most painful now I understood by the end, like at the beginning, I was very confused. I was like, why did Shiro ask Rin and Sakura both to come in the same, same theater? Like, I was like, you should, like, you know, like, obviously they're going to, like, you know, bump into each other. Why did he do that? And then by the end of it, I realized why he did that. He did that so he can go from one person to another quite quickly. I'm like, damn, he, <laughs> he calculated that. And he knew that, yeah, it, like, you know, like, the risk is there, like, you know, if, like, it's the same theater, the risk is there, but he still, like, you know, did that because it'll take small, less amount of time for him to just go from one, like, you know, from Rin to Sakura. So, <laughs> like, my God. And obviously, Saber is, like, you know, like, loves food and she, like, she just left her in, like, the, the all, all you can eat that place. And was trying to like you know deal with Sakura and Rain at the same time. <laughs> and oh my God, I feel like I feel like Shiro's one was still doable. Like you know, like this the the theater was I'm guessing the same or like you know it was like one up you know, beside the other, and he could just go from one place to another. While like you know Shiro was just uh, not Shiro Saber was like you know having food, 
and it was a lot more doable. Shiki's, however, is it was impossible. Like, how can you even do that? You know, like, like seal is like in like in the food, like you know, like in like in eating food. Um, Akia is in the amusement park. Um, Arsved is. Um, where did where was Arsved? He was in. She was in the uh, cinema, wasn't she? Or am I mistaken? Yeah, she was in the cinema. Yeah, and. Like and obviously like Kohaku and Hisui are just at 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 their house. So Shikis was impossible. Like how did he even think that that's possible, humanly possible enough to do? Like I don't understand. And he he basically forgot about Ak Akia completely. Even I forgot. I I really did not remember that. Yeah, they're, like they're not showing Akia when they showed that Akia is just standing in the amusement park. I'm like, yeah, I also forgot about her for a second there. <laughs> but. Yeah, it, it was just there, like, and I guess, like, the, the, the one who were the most fine with this whole situation was Hisui and Kohaku. Like, I guess Hisui and Kohaku didn't even realize, like, all this happened. They were just there, while Akiha and <clears throat> Seal and Arsred, they realized. While uh, they were um, Sakura and Rin, they realized. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that was it. Like my god, and they obviously like you know, after getting to know that they were trying to weasel out of the situation. <laughs> Shiki's Shiki's like, oh we this was just a surprise, you know, like all of us here together, like you know, having fun. I, I this was a surprise. And she 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 was like, ah oh, yeah, <laughs> make like you know, everyone's happy now. I'm 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 I did this to make everyone happy and yeah, like obviously that won't work here. In these situations, being a hero of justice is pretty impossible. So, <clears throat> yeah, like the Excalibur and Arsved's wrath all fell upon them at the same time. And I'm pretty sure Rin, Sakura, and all of them also probably beat them up. And yeah, that was the it. Okay. So. <laughs> Yeah, and that was the end. Wow. And, and in the end, we get to see, like, you know, in the cafe, um, all the characters were here. Even, like, you know, like, I don't know, like, uh, why is Steno and Urail here? Like, all the different characters that are here, I can, you can say, like, oh, they're from Fate Zero. You know, like, a few of them are from um, Tsukihime, like, a few from Fate uh, Stay Night. You know, all that stuff. Like, but why is Steno and Urail here? I I don't understand. Like they were like they were not part of like you know any Fate franchise. You know they're only part of the game, and they are in Fate Carnival, uh, Grand Carnival. But that's like a different thing. So I don't understand why these two sisters. Are. I guess because was was it because Medusa was here? Is that why they came here as well? I don't know. I like. I was like. I was really surprised. I was like, "Why? What are they doing here?" I don't know. But anyways, it was nice to see all of them. And oh my god! Like, <laughs> I can see Media's just patting. I think what's her name? I think Len or Ren. Like you know, the girl from Sukhime, the blue-haired, elf-eared girl. I forgot her name. Just patting her while. <laughs> Yusui Kohaku and Lacerit, I think that was the name, Lacerit and the other girl, the other homunculi from Fate. Um, I don't remember her name. <clears throat> but those two, they were just staring at each other. While, oh my god, Gilgamesh, Iskander and Taiga drinking. Like, I was <laughs> surprised seeing Taiga there. And obviously, like, Saber and Arsa just chatting with each other. <laughs> oh wait oh she, she's also here what's her name um aoko aoko's also here i saw her <laughs> who else oh rin uh, karen is here akiha and the other who is this girl beside akiha can't recognize her who is this anyways no, not beside Akia, sorry, beside Karen. Who, who is this? Anyways. 
Oh, and <laughs> Iris, Phil, Ilya, and Kiritsugu are, are also there. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Medusa, Sakura, Shinji, and Ma Zoken. <laughs> Zoken and Shinji are almost dying. I guess Zoken probably hurt his back or something. He's an old man, so. But I don't know what happened to uh, uh, Shinji, but Sakura's just smirking. And. <laughs> and yeah, okay, that was fun. That was a fun ending. And yeah, that was it. That was. <laughs> and Taiga was like, no, I want a season four. <laughs> but yeah, anyways. So yeah, that was it. Thank you guys for watching. This is the final episode of Fate Carnival Phantasm. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. And comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know. I'll check them out. So as I said, from next week, I'll be doing a few more uh, Fate Carnival Phantasm related stuff. There are two or three more episodes like, you know, spin-off OVAs and some other episodes that are still left that I never watched. So I'm going to watch them and react to them as well. So yeah, from next week, that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.